that you speak to us and call us to higher ways. We pray that swords would be beaten into plowshares and that weapons would be left to rust in the field because we have forgotten why we picked them up in the first place. We hold this vision in front of us, this vision of a day that will come to pass when all forget why we picked them up in the first place. We thank you for the testament of this holy place and all who have served here and who will be sent from here into your world near and far. We pray in your name. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Rosenau. That was, that was very, very beautiful. And um, now we'll have we'll do we'll have Jewish prayers being offered by our neighbors from Soul Fire Farm, Leah Penniman and Jonah Vitali Wolf. you to join us in offering a short and powerful prayer for peace from the Jewish tradition called the Priestly Best Blessing. Um, this prayer is both offered by the Kohanim, the priests, to all of the people and also by parents to their children every Friday night. And what we're going to ask you to do is um, to join us in making the symbol for peace with your hands. You put your two first and second finger together and your third and fourth finger together, your thumb outstretched, and this makes a shin, which is the Hebrew letter that says shh, for Shaddai. Shaddai is one of the names of God, which refers to the compassionate mother, and it also is the shin in shalom, which means peace. So we will hold our hands in this prayer out in all four directions, so we ask that um, when we begin the prayer, you face outward, you can stand and face outward like a priest would, so that your hands are blessing the whole world. And we'll share the Hebrew and English, and then you'll join in in the congregational response, Kain Yehi Ratzon. Kain Yehi Ratzon means, may it be the will of the Creator. May the eternal one bless you and protect you. Can you hear that song? Yeah, Eret and I can have a May the compassionate one make her face shine light upon you and be gracious unto you. Can you hear that song? I shalom. May the Holy One of Blessing lift up His face unto you and give you peace. Thank you guys, that was very beautiful. And, and that was also Jonah's mom. <laughs> Up with them. Nice to see you. Okay, it's time for Muslim prayer. Is Saeed, did, did Saeed come? Saeed, did you make it? 
Is is there anyone else who would like to come forward and offer a reason to prayer? Yes. Oh, good. And I saw. Thank you very much. This is Andy. Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Same thing again. Salam alaikum. Rahmatullah wa barakatuh. How many ways do we say this and how many languages and it's still important to be said. Many of our traditions say this is the greeting in heaven. Peace, the original religion of us all. And we all know that, we all feel that. We're not fooled by this trick of the eyes. We are sparks of light from the same one going back to the same place. Salam, salam, salam. So, to give us more words in the Islamic tradition, I'd like to give you the first chapter of the Quran, which means that which was said. And the name of this chapter is Al-Fatiha, the opening. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين أياك نعبد وأياك نستاهين Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim Sirat al-deen anam alayhim Ghayr al-mardub alayhim wal al-dalim Amin And the call to prayer Thank you, 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 
First of all, thank you very much for your contribution to the Peace Pagoda and helping Yasuda-san for many years. It was 30 years ago when Fuji Guruji first heard about the news of a future Peace Pagoda site in Grafton. Guruji said, Jun-chan, is the person who brought out a man living deep in the mountains in the state of New York. What an extraordinary thing she has done. This man was destined to come out to Vienna and to London for the first time. I was curious how he came out of the mountain. Then I found out that Yasuda-san went to take him out. If you are lazy, you could do nothing in your lifetime. If you disseminate the teaching, it will spread to all corners of the world. This was on October 11, 1983. Fuji Guruji was very happy about the news. Ever since, Sister Yasuda has worked for the peace movement together with the Native American people. Now I would like to introduce a letter from Mr. Dennis Banks to Fuji Guruji. It was sent from prison dated November 23, 1984. Jun-san has now been walking and praying since November 5th from Rapid City, South Dakota. She is walking here to the prison, which is 350 miles. During the time we stayed in the nation, Jun-san prayed every morning and walked 10 to 15 miles every day. Everywhere she goes, people have more meaning for the world's world peace. And now she walks in a very dangerous area. Many whites are filled with racism here and sometimes I hear